So this is Bearded Ladies Mystic Museum, uh, and what we specialize in the actual museum is fortune telling, mysticism, paranormal, kind of ghosts and whatnot. Um, in the actual gift shop, we try and carry anything that's like-minded to that or just fun for our customers that they would be interested in. We love candles, we love just any, we have tea as well. So anything aromatic, all about it. So anything aromatic, all about it. And then we also have a very large vintage Halloween collection up. And it's just kind of showing the history of Halloween, how it first came to America. And same, there's like a history on witches and yeah. all the superstitions and how they got the look that they have. I found this on the internet and I was really intrigued by the company. I have to get it, but I would love to get your opinion if sure. you don't mind. Uh, so here you go. Uh, give that, give that a smell and just initial impressions. Mm. This one's one of my favorites, and I think because of that, I really love warm smells. I love sandalwood, I love amber. Um, for me, this is nostalgia in, yeah. a, in a cup. And um, for everyone, it's different, but I just love, I think I'm a, a stay at home, cuddle up in front of a TV type person, and I think that the smell kind of correlates with that. If you were gonna burn this at home, yeah. and you got a nice, cool, quiet evening, mm -hmm. Turn down the lights, you're gonna put a movie on. What movie do you think would go wonderful with this set? <laughs> Honestly, since it's called Witch Hunt, I really did love the new movie, The Witch, and I am a huge fan of just the cinematography in that movie. And I'd honestly probably, like, for the first time, be able to watch it in my house, I would burn that with it. <laughs> well, Stephanie, thank you oh, very of much. Yeah, my Super. pleasure. So today I wanna to talk about nostalgia. This is nostalgia. Do you recognize that house behind me? It's not my house. What would you do if I sang out of tune? You know, they never quite did say where the Wonder Years took place, but this is the very street where you would have seen Kevin Arnold, Paul Pfeiffer, and Winnie Cooper at the beginning of every episode, and the Arnold residence right here, looking very much the same as it always did. And as you can see, Winnie's house Kevin's house. So this is the spot, the precise spot where Winnie Cooper would have been sitting on the sidelines as the boys played football on the street. A show that's synonymous with childhood and growing up, coming of age. Definitely nostalgic. Does it bring you back to your youth? brings me back to mine. So something that you may have guessed about me is that I'm a big horror movie fan. I love horror movies. It's just something I grew up with. Well, a lot of those movies I would just laugh at because they're so cheesy and campy. The ones that I loved the most were the ones that actually did sink in deep. The ones that would actually terrify me and make it hard to sleep at night. And I think the epitome of those sorts of films would have been the 1978 classic John Carpenter's Halloween. And if you haven't already guessed, that house right there behind me, yep, that is the Myers house, the Michael Myers house featured in the original 1978 Halloween film. And although they have actually picked up the house, the original location was a couple blocks down that way, they moved it uh, to this new location some years ago. They fixed it all up, and I have been inside the house in the past, and it's the same story in there. The banister, the railings, the moldings, all of the rooms, everything is just situated just the way it was in the film. And since I'm here, and I'm enjoying the nice weather, and I'm in front of the Michael Myers house, well, of course, I had to bring a candle along, and that candle is going to be the now-retired Happy Halloween. Anyone's going to tell you that this candle is black licorice. Uh, black licorice Twizzlers. Think of black crow gumdrops. Think of good and plenty candies. It's this very sweet form of black licorice. But there's other things going on too. Root beer. Now, that makes perfect sense. Why? Because guess what one of the ingredients is in most root beers? 
licorice root. There's this cola element to the candle. So with that licorice slash cola, you're getting this root beer image that's coming to mind because it's just so creamy on the nose. Whipped cream up close, this spicier exotic vanilla. Now with that vanilla and that creaminess, we're kind of getting this root beer float. So sitting here smelling this candle right outside the Michael Myers childhood home. I'm creating a moment. I'm loving this. So last time I talked about nostalgia and how smell, aroma, fragrance can bring us right back to our youth. I also showed you a shooting location to a popular 80s slash 90s sitcom, The Wonder Years. But do you recognize this house? This house right here behind me. I'll give you a clue. Why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? Did you get it? That's right. That's the house of Biff Tannen. So no kidding, folks. The house of Biff Tannen's grandmother uh, featured in Back to the Future films. Now that would have been the garage right back there. Remember that sequence? But the house uh, looking very good, very good, just like uh, it did in the film. If you remember, there was also a sequence where Biff Tannen's walking down this sidewalk right here and grabs a young kid's basketball and asks him, do you want this back? And the kid's like, give it back, give it back. And he tosses that basketball right up onto that ledge of that house right there. See that ledge? That would have just been two doors down. And if that wasn't enough, I got some more nostalgia for you. That house also used for another Michael J. Fox classic, Teen Wolf. Yes, that's the house right there. And a little piece of trivia, that was also the house used for Lorraine's house in Back to the Future. In fact, if you look right here, you see that big branch protruding? That was the branch that George McFly, Marty McFly's father, was sitting on with his binoculars spying on Lorraine. Gotta love this stuff. Right. No more fooling around. It's childhood time. Wall to wall, soda, nostalgia, candy. Look at this. There's something here for everybody. I use this candy as descriptors all the time when describing candles or when describing any kind of aroma. Squirrel nut zippers. All right, big question coming up. Red vines or Twizzlers? Turkish taffy. Now and laters. My name's Jack Cross. I've owned Rocket Fizz in Burbank. We've owned it since 2009. Okay. So like the smell of candies. Exactly, bring, yeah. It just bring brings you back. back to when you were a kid and times were a lot more simpler and more enjoyable. How much do you think a part of fragrance, aroma, plays in bringing you back as a child? Well, I think it has a lot to do with it. I mean, it, if you get a certain scent or a certain flavor or a certain smell, it kind of brings you back to like I say, your childhood times when things were simpler, you know, you're out riding your bike or whatever and you're refreshing yourself with something to drink or you get your favorite candy or something, it just yeah. makes things better. Well, Jack. Jack, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, no problem at all. So, we're in an awesome spot. As soon as I walked into this place, I was just flooded with nostalgia and a large part of that is the smell this place smells like the 80s you have a toy here mm -hmm. and you're saying you're telling me just before that this this brings you back to childhood uh you can smell the toy inside yeah, yeah go for it go for it right there at the uh if there was a candle that would actually fill your home with that smell, is that something that's a little bit too strange and obscure, or is that something that you'd be curious enough to actually burn? Oh, I would have to try it out. Okay. It's, it's something I'd be very curious about. You know, a lot of the time, you hear a new idea, and yeah. it's just your first reaction is, no. Um, but you try it, and it's like, well, that's pretty good. Ah, oh, you gotta love it. 
Oh, good God. All right, so it has to be done. Disneyland, you smell this stuff everywhere you go. Do you ever notice the clear difference between movie theater buttered popcorn versus amusement park buttered popcorn? There's this different aroma. Even the stuff you pop at home in the microwave tastes different, smells different. Mickey Mouse, candy corn, cotton candy. Oh, look at that. Does this cotton candy taste like candy corn or does it taste like cotton candy? Oh, it's sweet. Mickey Mouse, Halloween, candy corn, cotton candy. Tastes like cotton candy to me. I don't know. For a second there, I thought maybe, just maybe, this tasted like buttercream or frosting, birthday cupcake kind of confectionery sweetness. 